Yeah, do you guys hear that? That is the sound of summer coming in Arizona. And this is only 85 degrees. Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome back to my channel. We have a guest today. Grogu will be joining us on today's activity. And I just, I wanna give him a kiss, but I can't because I'm wearing fresh lipstick and he can't be washed. Can you? No, he cannot, but that is all right. Guys, it's spring. Spring has sprung. It has come to us with the gloriousness of 80 degree weather and it will be gone in two weeks. So for today, we're gonna be making a dress. I am so excited. We're gonna be making this dress, which is from Dressmaking Amour, and her dresses are amazing. I absolutely love all of her designs. And then I saw this dress, which just grabbed something inside of me, and I thought I have to make it. Now I was thinking to myself, okay, this is fine. I'll go to Joann's and I'll pick out a cool fabric. I've got my pattern all printed out before buying my fabric, so I actually know how much I need to make this dress, which the fact that this dress only takes two and a half yards and it's got the voluminous sleeves of a regal queen is quite surprising to me. But my original plan was to go to Joann's and then oh, I found this hiding in my fabric stash, and I just thought, great scots, it's perfect. It's got black flowers on it, and it's lightweight. By the way, this is a folded fitted sheet. If that isn't cool, you guys might not like my videos. I think that's really cool. So, I figured. A bed sheet's probably about two and a half yards. No, it is not. It is seven feet. I am short by two feet. Is that math right? I think I did that math right. I did not calculate that before saying that sentence. But either way, it's not, it's not two and a half yards, which is what I need in order to make the sleeves as voluminous as they need to be and give the skirt enough length to swoosh ratio, it gotta be, it gotta be poofy. But gotta be able to do a good knee covering swoosh. That's what I'm here for. So, we're back to idea number one, which is to go to Joann's. So, for today, we're gonna head over to Joann's. I want to find something similar to the sheet that I have. I'd like to find something kind of springy, but also a little gothic. I like the contrast of it, it bring, be, blah. I like the contrast of it being spring, but also being black, but being subtly black. We're gonna head over to Joann's. If I had a baby carrier, I would bring, bring wow, I am, I need coffee. I think that's what it is. I either need coffee or a nap. If I had a baby carrier, I would bring Grogu with me, but I do not, so we'll leave Grogu at home, hold down the fort, and we're gonna head over to Joann's. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I made a little mushroom patch. I got this one at the Renaissance Festival, and I just thought it was the cutest thing ever, and he needed friends. So I made him little friends, and I gave them all a little field to hang out on. Yeah, do you guys hear that? That is the sound of summer coming in Arizona. And this is only 85 degrees. We're not even to the halfway point. Okay, I tried really hard to not get distracted by all of the cute things that Joann's always has in their stores, but I found this sunflower pattern when I finally made it back to the fabric section, as well as this really adorable dinosaur fabric, which I'm kind of sad I don't have a project for. I found some horse ceramic bunnies and look at them, they're so adorable! And all of that was ruined by the Dwight Schrute fabric that I came across. And I just decided it was better to just put that one back. Eventually I did find some springtime fabric. I found this really cute one that had little bees on it. And right next to it was this more gothic one because it was in just black and white, but I thought they looked too much like flies. So I went ahead and just put that one back. 
I then came across this blue and gray floral pattern, which I thought was adorable, but I wanted to make sure there was nothing else that I thought would be a better fit. I kept looking around and I found this gray one with colored flowers on it, but I wasn't feeling it, so I got the gray one with the bluish flowers. On my way to check out, I found these adorable little mushrooms. I also saw a mug that I swear looks exactly like the fabric I just got. <sighs> okay, well, I think that went rather well. I got, I got my zipper. Got my fabric, found a couple of um, interesting alternatives. I think that my favorite was the um, fabric made entirely of Dwight's face, which was rather terrifying. <laughs> But I'm happy with what we ended up with. I'm happy with um, how much it looks like a bed sheet. But tomorrow we'll get started with putting this whole thing together. So I'll see you tomorrow, which is right now. Hi guys. I think I'm just gonna lay here for the rest of the video. Oh my goodness, I hate stairs. Okay. This is gonna be a whole lot worse than going upstairs because I have to cut out and tape together 28 pages for this pattern. Okay, time to get up. Nope. Okay. It's day two. It's day two. It is day two. We got our fabric. We have our pattern. Both need to be assembled. This one gets assembled first. Let's go. cut all of this out later tonight but this is this is it for day for day two tomorrow we should be able to get everything cut out of the fabric and pinned on Grogu is currently taking a nap so it is just me for today and today is day three welcome to day three of me working on this project that has taken way longer than I was expecting it to but I woke up this morning with the worst headache like in my life. So I woke up with a headache. I just could not do anything this morning. And then I had my dentist appointment, which took obviously way longer than I thought it was going to. We're getting a bit of a late start. I think I should be able to have enough sunlight to get at least all of the fabric ironed, pinned, and cut out but I have no clue if we're gonna be able to get to any of the sewing before we run out of sunlight, but we will see. I'm hoping that we'll be able to do at least a little bit of sewing on the bodice before we have to wrap up for today, because I would like to get the bodice out of the way, because the bodice is always the part I have the hardest time with. I have got not weird proportions to myself, but I've got weird proportions for other pattern makers because I'm just a bit of a long bean, and so I've just got longer proportions than usual people. So I might have to elongate the patterns. Once we get everything sorted, we'll actually be able to pin it all onto my lovely Miss Mannequin, and we'll be able to figure out if I need to recut some of the pattern pieces or not. But with that, my fabric should be coming out of the wash right about now, so we're gonna go ahead and get on to ironing, which will happen right now. What's up, you guys? Look at this sleeve. What the, this is all gonna go on my arm? Are you kidding me? And this is only supposed to be a three quarter length. Like this is supposed to all fit between my shoulder and my elbow. What? <laughs> the rest of this looks rather like straightforward. The skirt kind of looks like the size of the skirt. The, um, what part is this? This is the center front. 
I mean, this looks like that'll fit there probably appropriately. I might, I'm gonna have to take that down a couple of inches because your girl is a bit of a long boy. Either that or it's supposed to sit down here, here, like that. It's probably supposed to go like that and I'm just holding it up really high. But the rest of this looks like it's all normally sized, but that sleeve is enormous and I love it. My heart's on fire whenever I'm with you. Back in time, the thrills I miss, and all the things I wish we did. All I know is that I need somebody like you. Cause I can't waste another night sitting here alone. Hoping for your voice on the telephone. I know it's a super cut as you walk away. Playing in my mind all the things I never close my eyes. folded it the wrong way and I'm still up for debate on if I can actually do this folded I don't I don't want to cut out all these pieces completely individually you know like the instructions say to do but we'll see okay so I have to cut this all out individually there's no folding allowed it doesn't all fit which makes no sense if it can fit in this way but it can't fit in another way. This is going to be a long journey towards. I was trying to do Gandalf, but I have not read Lord of the Rings. I don't know anything about that. Mordor? This will be a long journey towards Mordor. We'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I might need to get more fabric. I really hope I don't, but you know what? We'll see. All right, well, that was a pretty quick answer, so. Immediately, I saw that because this this sleeve, of which I had noted earlier, is enormous, is obviously not going to fit on the fabric where it's supposed to, which is right there. So that means that I um, did something wrong, and then upon reading the instructions again, turns out I did. So this pattern is a size eight and turns out that for a size eight, you need 3.3 yards of a 60 inch bolt. Now this is a 42 inch bolt, which means that I need probably about four and a half yards. I bought two and a half yards, which means that I have to go back to Joann's. Now what I'm going to do before I go to Joann's is I am going to pin and cut out as much of this as I can with my own knowledge of pinning this kind of stuff together and from my own experience with pattern making and then estimate how much yardage I need, which will probably end up being about one and a half yards, which was, it's mostly just going to be the sleeves. So for this piece of fabric, I'm going to focus on the skirt and the bodice and then leave the extra fabric for probably the other third of the skirt and the sleeves. But we will see. We'll, yeah, just, this is kind of turned into a, we will see and keep our fingers crossed. <laughs> All right. 
So I have everything and half a skirt. So I have to go, I can't believe I was able to get half a skirt and the sleeves out. But I still have to go to the store to get more fabric to make the other half of the skirt. But all in all, I, I'm not missing a lot. I can't quite make a skirt with just this one and kind of just have kind of a, a smaller skirt. Um, if I lowered the waistline a little bit, it might be able to clear my waist. It would not be able to clear my thighs. So we're gonna go over to the store, the store, and we are going to get this amount of fabric, which is great because there were two bolts of this at good, uh, there were two bolts of this at Joann's, so I know that they won't be out of it, but it is just another drive to Joann's, which is fine. It's all for the, the sake of fashion, but I will check in with you guys tomorrow when hopefully we'll be able to sew this whole thing together. Toodaloo! All right, kidlets, it is day three. Here she is, mostly pinned together. We've got one other sleeve hanging out in the on the table. But there she is. I'm so excited. Everything's done. We just have to sew it. You know, the most complicated part of this whole process. And it's fine. It's fine. I'm not worried at all. This is totally not the part where I usually panic about these kinds of things. Pfft. This, this'll be fine. the bodice and I have got to say that is probably one of the nicest lines I have ever created in my entire sewing career. You do this thing called an understitch which I have actually never done before. I didn't know that you could do an, an understitch which is where you sew basically like a stay stitch into the bottom of the lining as opposed to sewing it on top so that way the lining doesn't like peek out when you're wearing it. Just wanted to share that I am very proud of the way that that turned out because I think that linings are the bane of my existence. I have never had one turn out so perfectly lined up with everything else that it was actually really satisfying sewing it together. <laughs> but I believe the next step is doing the skirt. I'm not sure yet. I think that the next is the skirt and then we'll do the sleeves, maybe. This will be the last day. Whether it will actually be finished or not, this will be the last day. I mean, almost everything's done, hang on. Here's the top, and then obviously the skirt will connect to the bottom. Um, and the skirt is, all the panels have been attached. They just, basically all I have to do is attach the zipper and attach this part to that part. I hate zippers almost as much, if not more, than I do the iron. I have an equal uh, or greater dislike of, of zippers. I figured out how to do them once. I, I thought I had um, found the answer to how to attach zippers and this um, dressmaker has a completely different way of attaching the zipper, which is fine because you have to attach a invisible zipper. You have to attach an invisible zipper to the actual fabric and the lining and attach the uh, skirts to the bodice, which is a lot of things going on for a zipper, I think. <laughs> 
it'll be fine. I have followed the instructions up until this point and I have had uh, one hiccup, which was actually my fault. And that was not having enough fabric. So at this point I'm kind of stalling. I, I don't I don't want to do the zipper but then it'll be done if you attach the zipper it will be done all right all right let's go the dress is basically done all I have to do is finish the bottom seam and then add on the dreaded zipper and I just had such conviction, such confidence, absolute boldness when I was out buying the zipper and it turns out I got the wrong length. So we got to go back to the store to go get our zipper. Oh, okay, I am back from the store. I got the cutest hat ever, which I think is going to go great with this dress. Look at the little bow. It comes with a black ribbon, which I'll probably replace because then it'll go with my shoes. But anyway, enough fooling around. It is time to tackle this zipper, which is already making my brain hurt. But it is time to get started with the zipper. for work which means that I'm not going to be able to get this done today which means I'm gonna to have to finish it up after I get off of work tonight long is because I had to redo this zipper like four times and it turns out for whatever reason the back of this dress was absolutely enormous like I had to take off like three inches on either side in order for the back of it to fit. So I don't know if that's just because your girl has got a small chest and that's why it doesn't fit, or if it's just because that's how the dress was designed. So it just has been sewing on the zipper, having taking out the zipper, sewing over the zipper, which you guys saw a little bit ago, me begrudgingly trying to get it undone. So they're just, some things that I have to finish up. But anyway, finish everything tonight and I will see you guys tomorrow for the review.